Hello YouTube, this is William. Welcome to another video on uh, the carving series. Um, this is about the third or fourth one, I'm not really sure. Before we get into carving, there's a lot of things that topics we need to cover. Uh, we covered uh, styles of knives, we covered uh, some uh, safety tips and blade control, uh, covered uh, types of woods and, and, and things like that. So there's a lot of things that, that, that uh, you need to at least be aware of or, or have uh, some idea of before you actually start carving. And another one of those things that's very important is uh, your tools. What you want to do is you want to inspect, and, and this is a, um, a work uh, axe that I made in Germany. I think I got this one at, uh, at SRO, which is... Um, uh, Self-Reliance Outfitters. Uh, they they usually have some pretty decent equipment there on that, their website. Um, this is uh, one of the small hatchets that they have. Very reasonable price. Made in Germany. Um, seems to be a pretty good axe. I don't know. Uh, been been okay so far. Has a has a semi carving head, which is what I liked about it. It has a little bit wider thickness up here and it kind of narrows down a little bit here but uh, gets razor razor sharp so anyway you want to make sure that your tools are very very sharp there's no cracks um, you want to make sure that um, the heads are tight the blades are tight um, you don't want this this tool failing you while you're you're carving because if your tool fails then that means that it's going to possibly hurt you and at the very least mess up your carving okay excuse me so you want to make sure that that your tools are, are sharp and I have um, videos on sharpening and maintaining axes and uh, things like that but uh, anyway this is what I mainly use is a Falcon even DC4 DC3 I use Spyderco's the dual sharp uh, has ceramic on one side, carbide on the other. I use a lot of dual dual stones because I like rough edges. And if you're using a lot of the uh, the carbon steels, and to me, diamond works better on carbon steels. Uh, some of the stainless steels to get them to a semi-sharp edge, I prefer diamond because a lot of those stainless steels are are very hard. And if you use um, natural stones stone stone then uh, it doesn't cut the, bla the the metal very well so diamonds do that and then just to hone them I use uh, the ceramic side of it um, or uh, just clean them on, on, a, on leather and, and I don't strop them per se I just I just clean the edge just a few licks on it because I want to I want to keep that semi rough edge um, a semi-rough edge, to me, cuts better and lasts longer. A lot of people, they like a high-polished edge, but if you think about it, a rough edge has little little fine divots in it, and it actually, as you're cutting, they help you when you're, with the slicing motion. And it also protects certain portions of the blade, and it lasts longer. With a polished edge, you're hitting the entire edge the whole time, so it doesn't last as long. Okay? That's my theory and my thoughts on it. Try it. See if it works for you. Okay? Uh, your um, crooked knife or if you're using a, a uh, hook knife, and there is a difference. This is a crooked knife. And uh, this is a hook knife. There is a difference. They're, they're not interchangeable. They have different tasks. This one can be used as a draw knife. This one can use, be used for, for many other things. This one, the only thing it's good for is carving out bowls. That's it. Whereas this one, you can uh, make dimensional lumber, use it as a draw knife. And uh, also, if you have the crook on the end, which that's not why it's called a crook knife. It's called a crook knife because it's crooked this way, not this way. Okay? This can be many, many, many different shapes. All right? But a crooked knife is actually used as a draw knife, or if it's shaped properly or shaped like this, then it can be used as, as a carving out bowls and, 
and actually rounding rounding off material. And again, <clears throat> go back through this playlist of um, go to my home page and there's a playlist called carving and a lot of these things are on there already. Okay? So, the knife you want to make sure that your knife is in good condition that it um, you look down the edge of it you don't see any bright spots on the edge you want to make sure that it's sharp and if it's not you want to make sure it, it stays sharp just touch it up on a stone and again there's many many different videos on my channel about sharpening scandies full flats sabers any type of knife you want if, if you have a question about a knife or a cutting tool there is more than likely a video on my channel about it that's my life this is what i do all right so once you make sure that your all your tools are in tip-top performance then you're ready to go select your own wood and and uh, start carving so I hope I hope this little bit of advice helps you out one thing I do want to say about your tools get the best that you can afford and that doesn't mean that the most expensive is the best okay select the tools that's going to perform what you want it to perform at. if you want a carving knife if you want to do strictly wood then that's the knife that you should get um, if you want a hatchet to do strictly carving then you need to get a hatchet that that's what it's designed for get the tools that's designed for what you want to use it for is what I'm saying uh, and just because somebody uh, says that that's what you need may not be necessarily what you need so I'm not going to tell you what you need you need to, to actually get out there and carve and, and do some of these things and figure out for yourself what you need really okay so until the next one you guys get in the backyard with a little stick take care of your tools they'll take care of you so if you do get in the backyard with a little stick be sure to take those band-aids and lots of knives we'll catch you again soon <laughs>